Jane Velez Mitchell here for The Fix. Here's a question. Reports are that actor Nick Stahl has just left rehab against doctor's advice. Is rehab a vital stage of recovery, or does it cost too much and promise too much? Well, first of all, I have no independent confirmation that Nick Stahl has left rehab, but if he has, it wouldn't surprise me. He was reportedly missing before he went into rehab, and if he goes missing again, well, that's part of a pattern. You can take people to rehab, but you can't force them to have a psychic shift where they realize, hey, I don't have to drink and use just for today, one day at a time. Uh, sobriety is often hard for people to get. I don't judge because um, there but for the grace of God go I. Uh, I got sober 17 years ago, but until I surrender to my powerlessness over alcohol, I literally could not go one day without drinking no matter what I said to myself, no matter how much willpower I exerted. Willpower doesn't work. And when somebody hits bottom, uh, they know it. But until they hit bottom, there's really nothing else that we can do to help them. We can't force them to hit bottom. We can have an intervention and encourage them to have that moment of clarity where they see themselves as others see them. But you can't strong arm somebody into having that psychic shift. So um, my heart goes out to Nick Stahl. I hope that he gets it. And often people don't get it the first time around or the second time around. The, the main thing is that you ultimately do get it and realize that as opposed to finding freedom outside rehab, that the real freedom is the freedom from drugs and alcohol that you get inside rehab, that then you can take that freedom that's an internal freedom with you wherever you go. Uh, Jane Velez Mitchell, you can catch my show weeknights at 7 p.m. Eastern on HLN. Check it out.